an MP40 BB gun, the Umarex Legends MP. Let's check it out. Umarex has their Legend series. Uh, this is the MP, and it's based on the MP40, and it is a really close replica of that really famous German World War II firearm. Uh, this is in select fire. Uh, it has a great mag capacity. It also has a folding stock, this underfolder, and you can shoot it from the hip. But guys, if you are a fan of World War II, this makes a great option. And while it's not the original, it sure does cost a lot less and it's much cheaper to shoot, but it's still a lot of fun. <laughs> Now we bought the Legends because of support from our Patreon family, and we really do appreciate those guys. Uh, it allows us to bring a lot of cool, different type guns to you guys. The Umarex Legends MP, uh, and this is a really faithful copy of the original MP40. Used during World War II by paratroopers and then became part of the standard issue for German forces. I've seen a ton of movies where guys are firing these things from the hip in full auto, <laughs> which makes it really funny. So it weighs 7.7 .7 pounds. And so it definitely has some heft to it. Uh, it's all metal construction with the top receiver all the way through the barrel. And it is aluminum. Uh, and then of course you have your magazine. Magazine's very important. We're going to take a look at that. But here the receiver is kind of a polymer, and it's really that same color uh, that you see that the German Army used. Uh, so I, they went to a lot of pains to make this as close as they could with a BB gun to be an MP40. One thing I love is the underfolder stock, which is metal. There's a button right here, and you just pull it out, and it comes out. Uh, it's not super stiff but neither were the MP40s. And then you have some flex here. Uh, and that's how it closes down. Uh, but just for what we're doing here, I mean, it's a lot of fun. It just allows for you to kind of get back to, you know, the 1940s and just have a lot of fun at the range. We have a charging handle right here on the side. Uh, one thing you'll notice is that here on the chamber, uh, it comes from a open bolt design. So it fires from an open bolt, which I thought was a pretty cool feature as well because the original did. Uh, but you can see it just slapping back and forth when we're firing the MP40. And the charging handle reciprocates back and forth. Uh, we have a place here for a sling, and then you have a rear section for a sling as well. Here is your button to release your stock. And typically when you have it in the up position, it'll just kind of fall down and you can pull it around. Knurled very nicely. The rear sights are adjustable uh, as far as there are two different apertures or different sections to look through. So up close or farther out. And then the front sight is just hooded. And then we have a thread protector and, a th and threads on the end. Now this is left-handed, so it's kind of different to do, but it works really well and that would follow along with the German issued firearms. And then we have this little section right here that is also present on the MP40s. The molding on the side of the magwell is really nice. Uh, the, this button right here, which is typically on your standard MP40, uh, it's really just for looks. And then we have our selector switch. And I'm going to go ahead and pull the stock up. And right here, this is actually a three section. So we have it on safe. Pull it once and that gives you semi-automatic fire. Pull it down again and you have your fun switch, which I found that on the uh, semi-automatic setting that I was sometimes getting two rounds at a time coming out. Uh, but 
I'll tell you, you get them all when you do this. <laughs> it is really fun. And it's right here under the receiver. It's not difficult to get to. Now, as far as the trigger pull, a little bit of take up. You know, not a great trigger, but not bad. And of course, with what you're going to be doing with this, it really doesn't matter too much. Uh, it'll do a little differently when we have a CO2 installed. The stock comes back in nicely and just nestles underneath the MP40. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to load the mag. It's real simple. Uh, it does come with a supplied hex wrench where you can take out the plug and it does take two CO2 cartridges. And these are the 12 gram type. I mean, they're very plentiful. We bought a large box. Um, we got about three and a half magazines out of this. Now, one thing that I want to talk about that's, that's really important. Uh, number one is putting a little bit of lube in your track here for your BBs is really smart. Uh, and it just allows this them to go back easier down the track and then for you to bring back your spring. Uh, now, one thing, though, that I want to warn you about is we used Crossman BBs, and these are just copper. We had some real issues with this. I mean, it would fire some, and then it wouldn't, and we just continually had problems with it uh, to the point that I thought something was wrong with the gun. Uh, then I saw where somebody said use steel BBs. Now, I saw that Daisy and there's a number of others that work the best. But the steel BBs were perfect. I mean, they ran like crazy. I think we may have had one magazine where it stopped and we had to adjust a little bit. But it didn't matter how we put them in. It seemed like the steel BBs just functioned. Now, the capacity is 52 rounds. Of course, YouTube doesn't allow us to show anything over 30 rounds. And so we have blocked this one for 29 rounds. It has a 10-inch barrel. Uh, it is smoothbore. So, you know, what accuracy you're getting out the distance is going to be sus at best, but we are shooting a BB, which is the, the .77 caliber. Now, we have our magazine assist tool right here and just pull it down. This is probably the toughest part of loading these magazines, except for being able to organize the BBs without them going everywhere. I just happen to be lucky. I had a little tray I was using before. Hold the magazine up so they'll roll and just drop them in this little hole. There's a small hole here where it just allows you to put them in. It'd be nice if they had a small lock on the magazine tool, but otherwise, just holding it back, it doesn't take a lot of pressure. It'll hold up to 52 BBs, but once it gets kind of full, just let go and you're ready to go. We're just using some of the Crossman CO2s. And of course you need two. Now one thing that they recommend is taking a little bit of oil and they recommend some airsoft or uh, pellet gun oil, but we're just gonna put some regular lube on there. And this just kind of seals it when it pierces the cartridge. Now to take out the existing or the spent cartridges to start to turn it, you can hear it just hiss just a second. There we go. There is the plug, and you can see there's a small little punch right here that's going to pierce through the, the CO2, but there's also one inside. We'll go ahead and pull these out, and these are the spent cartridges. Then to replace it, uh, you take the small tip that's pierced at the front. Go ahead and drop it in first, and then turn it around and get the other side. So these sit butt to butt. And then we can take our plug and put it back in. And there is a supplied wrench with it. Um, I just didn't bring it down. Once you get it good and snug, you're ready to go. Now, when you're inserting your magazine, you want to make sure that the BBs are showing toward the front of the gun. So we're going to place them in here just like this. Uh, you can actually fit it in the other way, but it won't fire. The white is safe. Pull down one. That's on single shot. Pull down two. And now you've got the fun mode. Guys, the first time we came out, uh, we were shooting copper BBs, and it was hit or miss. It wasn't a lot of fun, even though it did shoot some full strings. With the steel, these things run like crazy. Uh, and when you finish with the magazine, when it's <laughs> empty, it'll just stop. Uh, so make sure that you take that magazine and you put it with the BBs on the out, going toward the out of the barrel, and then you're ready to go. Now, this particular uh, cartridge, we've shot three mags through it already. So it may die on us, and I want to show that anyway. There we go with semi-automatic. We just bring it down one more. There we go. The cartridge is running out, but you can tell, man, this thing just shoots and shoots. 
we still have about half a mag. So we've gone through three and a half magazines with just two cartridges. <laughs> All in the kill zone. Now we picked this up for $224.99 and there's a lot of different companies that do carry these so you can check out your prices. While it can be a little pricey uh, compared to your standard MP40 original, <laughs> it's pennies. And again, it's just cheap to shoot. Uh, we had a blast. Now, if you want extra magazines, they're about $49.99 a piece. Uh, but again, you have all the setup for your CO2 right here. And I'm sure that you can figure out some loading options just to make it a little quicker. Uh, there are some different ideas. Uh, we just went ahead and did it by hand because we just wanted to have fun with it. And we did have a lot of fun with it. This thing is a blast at the range. Again, it gives you enough heft to almost feel like it's the real thing. And then when you pull that trigger uh, and those <laughs> that magazine empties out, it's just a lot of fun. And anybody can shoot it. Uh, and two, you know, at 450 feet per second, you know, it's not really going that fast, but it's great for a BB gun. Guys, if you love firearm history, this is a great way to have a replica that doesn't cost near as much as the original. It's a lot cheaper to shoot, and it's just a lot of fun. And Umarex puts out a lot of different firearms, whether it's in rimfire, uh, whether it's BB, pellet, or even airsoft. And it just gives you a chance to go out and have some fun at the range. And again, we want to give a big thank you to our Patreon family, again, for allowing us to purchase items like this to bring to you guys. It's just something different. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. Assessment, okay, assessment, what's that? Assessment. <laughs> this is definitely the best option. Of course, you gotta watch out for the little, shoot, come on, people. Uh, and yet, again, <laughs> uh, this is close. <laughs> okay, not that close. It's really close to the original. It's pretty amazing, actually. Actually. <laughs> they really bring back that big. <laughs> Not only to shoot, but also to purchase. Check out. <laughs>